In a bustling city in the United States, Mercy Hospital stood as a pillar of healthcare excellence. Yet beneath its polished exterior, a dark secret lurked, shrouding the institution in an eerie ambience that sent chills down the spines of those who entered. Dr. Emily Collins, a renowned surgeon, had recently joined the hospital staff. Little did she know that her arrival would coincide with a series of inexplicable events that would test her skepticism and challenge her perception of reality. Late one night, as Dr. Collins made her rounds, she caught a glimpse of a fleeting shadow darting across the deserted corridor. Her heart skipped a beat, but she brushed it off as a trick of the light. However, the encounters with the mysterious shadow became more frequent, leaving her questioning her own sanity. As the hospital staff shared their experiences, a pattern emerged. Patients in room 415 reported waking up in the dead of night, paralyzed with fear as a menacing presence loomed over them. They described a shadowy figure with glowing red eyes, whispering in a language unknown to them. The hospital administration, concerned about the escalating reports, launched an investigation. Paranormal experts and researchers joined forces to unravel the enigma that gripped Mercy Hospital. They scored historical records, seeking any connection to the supernatural occurrences plaguing the institution. Their search led them to the hospital's past, uncovering a forgotten tale of a doctor who dabbled in forbidden practices in an attempt to extend life beyond its natural limits. Driven by hubris, he conducted experiments that defied ethical boundaries, ultimately leading to his own demise. The team realized that the tormented spirit of this doctor was trapped within the hospital, wreaking havoc on the lives of patients and staff. They embarked on a mission to free the trapped soul and restore peace to Mercy Hospital. With the aid of a renowned medium, they performed a science, aiming to communicate with the restless spirit. As the science progressed, the atmosphere grew heavy with an otherworldly presence. Whispers filled the room, recounting the doctor's tragic story and his desperate longing for redemption. Driven by compassion, Dr. Collins stepped forward, offering her own life force as a conduit to guide the tormented spirit towards the light. The room trembled with supernatural energy as the doctor's spirit passed through Dr. Collins, momentarily taking control of her body. In that transcendent moment, the spirit found solace and release. Dr. Collins collapsed to the ground, gasping for breath, as the hospital was enveloped in a blinding light, signifying the departure of the restless spirit. Mercy Hospital, now free from the haunting, regained its serenity. The shadowy figure and its malevolent presence faded into distant memory. Dr. Collins, forever changed by her encounter with the supernatural, continued her medical career, spreading hope and healing to those in need. The legend of Mercy Hospital's haunted past lingered, a cautionary tale of the consequences of tampering with the boundaries of life and death. It served as a reminder that even in the realm of science and medicine, there are forces that defy explanation, and sometimes the only path to peace is through sacrifice and compassion. Ravenswood Hospital located in a quiet town in the United States, carried a history cloaked in intrigue and whispered tales. Amidst its bustling corridors and dedicated staff, a particular ward held secrets that defied explanation, drawing the attention of those intrigued by the unexplained. Dr. Sarah Thompson, a renowned researcher, embarked on a mission to uncover the truth behind the enigmatic ward. She delved into the hospital's archives, meticulously studying patient records and sought out former staff members who might shed light on the mysteries concealed within. Through her relentless investigation, Dr. Thompson discovered that the ward had once been a specialized unit dedicated to experimental treatments for patients with mental illnesses. However, as she delved deeper, she uncovered disturbing reports of unethical practices and unexplained occurrences that had long plagued the ward. Intrigued by the unsettling accounts, Dr. Thompson reached out to former patients and staff, eager to piece together the puzzle. She listened intently as they recounted their experiences, a recurring theme emerged. Patients spoke of hearing disembodied whispers in the dead of night, 
witnessing objects move inexplicably, and feeling an oppressive presence that defied rational explanation. Driven by her commitment to uncover the truth, Dr. Thompson enlisted the help of renowned paranormal investigators and researchers specializing in the field of parapsychology. Together, they embarked on a quest to unravel the mysteries of the ward and shed light on the unexplained phenomena. Their investigation led them to interview witnesses who had encountered inexplicable events within the ward. They meticulously documented first-hand accounts, searching for patterns and commonalities that could help unravel the mysteries hidden within its walls. Eerie EVP recordings and anomalous temperature fluctuations further fueled their curiosity. As the team ventured deeper into the heart of the ward, they became immersed in an atmosphere charged with an intangible energy. Shadows flickered along the walls, and a sense of unease settled over them. They pressed forward, determined to confront the enigma head-on. Their resolve was tested as they experienced chilling encounters. Strange apparitions materialized fleetingly, their presence evoking an uncanny sense of foreboding. The team's skepticism wavered as they grappled with the unexplained, their own fears and uncertainties magnified in the face of the inexplicable. Undeterred, Dr. Thompson and her team meticulously documented their findings. They captured compelling photographic evidence, corroborating witness accounts with tangible proof of the unexplained phenomena that permeated the ward. Each piece of evidence added to the ever-growing tapestry of mystery surrounding Ravenswood Hospital. As their investigation reached a pivotal point, they discovered a hidden chamber deep within the ward, an area that had been intentionally sealed off from prying eyes. The air grew heavy with anticipation as they cautiously ventured into the chamber, unsure of what they would find. Within the chamber, they uncovered remnants of forgotten experiments, long abandoned equipment, and cryptic symbols etched into the walls. The team painstakingly pieced together the fragments, slowly unraveling the twisted history of the ward's dark past. Through meticulous research and collaboration with experts in the field, they uncovered the truth, a tale of misguided experimentation, and the consequences of unchecked ambition. The team shed light on the unethical practices that had once taken place within the ward, giving a voice to those who had suffered silently. Their findings were shared with the hospital administration, prompting a thorough reassessment of their practices and renewed dedication to providing compassionate and ethical care. The revelation sparked a renewed commitment to patient well-being and a promise to learn from the mistakes of the past. The story of Ravenswood Hospital's mysterious ward became a cautionary tale, reminding the medical community of the importance of upholding ethical standards and prioritizing patient welfare. Dr. Thompson's tireless pursuit of truth not only exposed the dark history of the hospital, but also initiated a transformative process of healing and reflection. The echoes of the investigation continue to resonate within the halls of Ravenswood Hospital, prompting ongoing research and fostering a culture of transparency and empathy. The mystery of the ward serves as a reminder that even in the realm of science and medicine, there are still uncharted territories and enigmas that demand our attention and scrutiny. As the legacy of the mysterious ward endures, it stands as a testament to the power of investigation, the quest for truth, and the resilience of those determined to unravel the secrets hidden within the walls of our most revered institutions. In a small town in the United States, the enigmatic Street Agnes Hospital harbored a series of chilling events that left visitors and staff questioning their sanity. These real-life occurrences created an atmosphere of unease and mystery within the hospital's walls. One unnerving incident involved nurse Sarah Thompson, known for her unwavering dedication. Late one night, as she patrolled the dimly lit hallways, a cold breeze enveloped her carrying an unsettling whisper that seemed to echo through the corridors. Her heart raced as she caught glimpses of shadowy figures darting in and out of sight. On another occasion, Dr. James Monroe, a respected physician, found himself inexplicably drawn to the hospital's morgue. As he entered the cold chamber, he noticed a flickering light that illuminated a gurney in the corner. 
To his astonishment, the outline of a body materialized, briefly displaying a face contorted in anguish before dissipating into thin air. The hospital's basement, with its labyrinthine corridors, held its own set of mysteries. Maintenance workers reported hearing distant footsteps and whispers that seemed to reverberate through the narrow passageways. Some claimed to have encountered locked doors mysteriously opening on their own, revealing long-abandoned rooms frozen in time. Visitors to Street Agnes Hospital also shared their spine-chilling experiences. A family visiting their ailing loved one in room 403 reported seeing translucent apparitions surrounding the bed, their presence bringing an eerie calmness rather than fear. Others spoke of hearing soft lullabies drifting from the pediatric ward, despite it being empty and devoid of any sound. The hospital administration, perplexed by these unexplained phenomena, launched investigations to uncover the truth behind the haunted reputation of Street Agnes Hospital. Paranormal experts, historians, and skeptics meticulously calmed through records, interviewed witnesses, and analyzed the architecture of the building in search of answers. As they delved into the hospital's history, they discovered a forgotten wing that had been sealed off for decades. Rumors circulated about a disastrous event that had occurred there long ago, but details remained elusive. The team was determined to unlock the secrets hidden within those abandoned halls. Their exploration led them deep into the bowels of the hospital, where they encountered strange symbols etched into the walls and floors. The air grew heavy with an otherworldly energy, and a sense of foreboding settled upon the investigators. In their quest for answers, they stumbled upon a journal hidden among old medical records. Its pages revealed the desperate scribblings of a former hospital employee, Dr. Samuel Collins. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, he had conducted forbidden experiments in the sealed wing, seeking to harness supernatural powers for the betterment of medicine. However, his experiments unleashed something beyond his control, a malevolent force that seeped into the very foundation of Street Agnes Hospital. Patients and staff alike fell victim to the entity's influence, leading to the reports of paranormal phenomena that had plagued the hospital for years. Armed with this newfound knowledge, the investigators realized they needed to confront the lingering darkness that gripped the hospital. They gathered in the sealed wing, prepared to challenge the malevolent force head-on. Within those desolate halls, they witnessed apparitions materializing before their eyes, their ghostly forms echoing the torment of the past. Haunting whispers filled the air, recounting the suffering endured by those who had unknowingly become victims of Dr. Collins' ill-fated experiments. As the team braved the paranormal onslaught, they discovered a hidden chamber where Dr. Collins had conducted his most dangerous rituals. Within its depths, they found an ancient artifact, the source of the malevolent force that had haunted Street Agnes Hospital. With great caution, they performed a ritual to neutralize the artifact's power, severing its connection to the hospital and dissipating the darkness that had gripped its walls for so long. As the ritual reached its climax, the air crackled with energy and an eerie silence enveloped the wing. The investigators emerged from the sealed wing, the weight of the hospital's haunted past finally lifted. Street Agnes Hospital, once shrouded in mystery and fear, stood ready to reclaim its reputation as a place of healing and solace. The tale of the hospital's haunting, now uncovered and resolved, became a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most noble intentions can lead to catastrophic consequences. The story of Street Agnes Hospital's enigma would continue to captivate and intrigue, serving as a testament to the enduring power of the supernatural and the resilience of those who seek to uncover the truth.